I clicked the button. That was a you good, saw it. That was not recording. Now, now it's recording. You see the red light? That means it's recording. Oh, how was I so? Ah. Now I gotta sit here awkwardly again. Awkwardly again. <laughs> What's going on, people? How you guys doing? Hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic day. Today, uh, we're gonna show our gym garage. Something I've been wanting to do. I've been working on it. COVID happened, as you know, and everyone was working from home, and you know. It was just hard to go anywhere, and during that time frame, I started doing jujitsu because I was working from home a lot, and I was trying to get fit. And one thing led to another. You know, I got a little bit of a bench press thing, and then it turned into something else, and turned into something else. To now, I literally have a full-on gym garage, and I'm super stoked to have it. I use it pretty much every single day, and I figured it'd be cool to share with you guys. Maybe there's something I have that you guys might like. Uh, maybe someone in the comments can, I don't know, be like, hey, you should do this or you should set this this way. By no means am I finished. I still want to finish uh, like adjusting things. and I'll talk about that, but I'll go over what I have, things that I've done. And I don't know, it, it just share something. So with that said, let's go. kind of wanted to share my gym setup. I thought it'd be kind of cool, go over what I've done and how everything works in here. I got everything that I think you would need from a gym perspective. Anything that you can literally, I won't say anything, but almost anything that you can do in a gym situation, you can do in my garage. Um, and so we'll kind of go over all of that. It's been, a, it's been a journey, a fitness journey. If you guys follow my channel at all, you guys will see that um, I look a bit different, and that's again a big part of you know jujitsu and training and, and the home gym, right? And I've been fortunate to build this gym, and so I was like, man, I, I really want to kind of show off the gym and what I've done, and uh, so yeah. So I guess the key thing to show off first of all is going to be the main part of my gym, I guess the main like whatever you want to call it, the main. How do you call it? I don't know. I don't know what it's called. The section? The, the main section, the piece de resistance, the, the, the magic, where the magic happens, the, uh, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. The, the, the cool shit. That's what I'm going to show you. So this is like the main gym configuration, like my main setup. Um, one night I was looking for a power rack and I was looking at, I forgot what brand it was. And then I happened to find this company on Instagram and they were here local and I was like, oh man, that's awesome. They're local. And it was like two in the morning and I messaged them and they actually responded and the owner responded and they have a place here local that you can check out. And this one is called, uh, I think it's called Jacked Up Fitness, as you can see right here. Yep. Jacked Up Fitness is the brand. They're actually local here to uh, Temecula, I think it is. So they're, they're super close by. One of my things is I was about to drop some money on, I wanted to come and look at it, right, before I bought it. And so that's the main reason why I went with this brand. It basically has everything. So you got two pulley systems, one here. Uh, the other one's down there, I think. Yep, yep, down there for you, you can see. It's got two stacks of 200 each. The pulley system is a two to one, so 200, really you have 100 pounds. However, I did buy this cool little adapter right here which allows me to put more weight onto it. So that's pretty awesome. Um, I bought their bench. It's a um, incline, decline bench. You have your seat for your lat pull down right here. And literally everything else that you need. So you have your ropes, uh, your, um, your bars over here. You have a straight bar. Uh, you have for your, like if you want to do any type of pulling work, uh, you have things for your legs. Uh, these are for if you want to attach an actual bar here and do squats here. It does have a Smith machine. They have a different version of this machine, which is a little bit more expensive. And the difference is the Smith machine has um, a counterbalance, but I wanted like the full on weight. I didn't want to have to have a counterbalance. I wanted to add that 45 pounds for the bar. And then up here, if you take a look at the uh, pull up bars, the ones on the more expensive one, uh, I didn't really like how they, the configuration was and I like these ones better. So that's another part. The more expensive one also was a little bit taller and a little bit wider. 
However, this one I think fits perfect for the garage. It does everything you need to do. Um, you have your bar down here, so you can, or your, not your bar, your, your, you can sit down on the mat on the floor and do your like cable rows and things like that. The cable, these things, uh, obviously these things move up and down, so they give you more room to work. Uh, you can attach pretty much anything you want to them. And then, what else does it have? Oh, it has the, uh, I don't know what this is called. I'm not, I don't remember what this is called, but basically you put a barbell in there. Once you put the barbell in there, you can do like different workouts. I do have an extra barbell there. It has a couple places for weights in the back. And then, if you take a look back here, if you see that metal, this, this plate right here, that actually attaches right here. So that plate attaches onto the here, and then you can lay down and do you can do um, uh, leg extensions or leg presses. There, that's what it's called. You can do leg presses on a machine, which pretty awesome. So, like I said, you can literally do everything that you want to do that you can do in the gym. You can do on this machine, and it was been. I, I mean, I've been literally using it every day. The kids use it. My wife uses it. My friends come over. They use it. Um, and we, we get in some crazy sessions in here just, just with this alone. One thing that I did that um, I guess it's, I mean, I should still show it off is the flooring. The flooring isn't anything special. These are literally stall mats from a farm store for horses. And I bought them. So that's, you can see, this is like the normal garage floor. And I was trying to find the cheapest way to make this. And if you look, they're pretty thick. They're about half an inch thick rubber uh, stall mats. And I pretty much did the whole entire garage over here. So you can do all your workouts here and not have any problems. And uh, I'll talk about why we have this mat here. But let's go on to the next section. So here, um, because I work out in the morning and the afternoons, we do have a fan. I have a little space heater. And as you can probably hear, I got the air conditioner running right now. So we've got an air conditioner back there. And then this is kind of like a leg station. So after you do your squats and whatever you want to do over here, you can come over here on this machine and you can do your leg extensions, which Tommy's over here. This is Tommy. Say hello, Tommy. He's not very talkative. But Tommy over here doing leg extensions, you can do reverse leg extensions. And it also, it also has a, an adapter. So you put that down and then it has a bar somewhere and you can do like curls and stuff on here if you want to, which is pretty cool. So it's pretty pretty cool setup. And then for more, we'll, we'll go into cardio here a little bit. We'll just kind of work down the line here. Uh, I got a row machine. I got this one from Costco. I'll be honest, I don't use it as much as I should. I really should use it more, um, but I don't use it that often. So uh, it needs some work. I do have a, like it connects with like, uh, I think it's called iFit and you can do like classes and stuff on it. You have bought a tablet that's specific for this machine. It connects Bluetooth and it can adjust the intensity and, and the vary of the, the um, uh, how difficult it is during the class. So as the instructor is teaching and she's like, all right, we're gonna go hard, it's gonna go like, the, we're gonna raise difficulty, blah, blah, blah. They, this damn machine will do that. And I always yell at her and whoever's teaching the course and I'm like, who gave you the right? Who gave you the, who told you that you're allowed to do that to me? Because it sucks. <laughs> and then we have our Treadmill, I've had this treadmill for probably close to 10 years. It still works, still works great. Uh, I use this quite a bit as well, just to get some basic cardio in. So that's pretty awesome. And then we can just stare at the uh, Gracie Humaita belt holder that I had made. <laughs> so yeah, this is kind of the, the cardio station. Um, and then to add to the cardio, recently I just bought this. This is the M1 tank from Torque. Uh, it's I've only used it a couple times. This thing is freaking awesome. It is it really is awesome and You can add a couple 20 pound weights here to keep the front from bouncing plus you can put a plate here and then you have three levels of resistance and The thing about this is as it, as you push it It gets harder as you put the harder you push it the harder it gets so and then I have the ropes for it so I got these like battle ropes over here for it or a rope and you can do like you can do pulling things um, I got a bunch of other ropes over here so you can do a bunch of other workouts with it me and uh, me and one of my friends did a good workout on this thing a couple times and it is insane it's it's such a crazy good workout uh, so good cardio good hit workout 
And then I bought this. This is from um, Rep Fitness, I think it is. This is their um, hex bar, open hex bar. This is, has some like adjustable grips, so you can grab different grips if you want to. It's very balanced, so even Noah can do it. So go ahead and pull it down. So grab the front and pull it down slowly. Yep. Boom. Yep, now sit it back up. That's so awesome because the weights just slide on and slide off. You don't have to, and if you guys ever try to load a trap bar, it's annoying when you got to lift it with one hand and try to put the weights on. You don't have to do that. So you can do like farmer carries. Those, those handles come off and you can do like squats with it. You can do so many, so many things with this thing. So it's pretty awesome. I did buy, and then you guys are going to give me crap about this one, but I bought the Iron Neck. Uh, I've used it uh, about a week or two already. Pretty awesome. I really enjoy it. It's, uh, it definitely gets a good workout in, and it definitely gets a, a, a really good neck workout in. I'm, I'm still doing like the beginner phases and the beginner exercises on it because it has like quite a bit of different uh, exercise opportunities. I guess they, get, they give you, they like email you things that you can do with it. Pretty awesome. And it can attach to the, the whole gym setup. So as you get past the first initial like weight resistance, you can add more weight to it. So that's pretty, pretty epic. And then if we look down here, this is kind of my free weight section. Uh, I got this at Costco. It's pretty crazy dumbbell set. It was actually pretty cheap. And uh, it only goes up to, I think, uh, 30, 30 pounds, I think is what it goes up to. But as you can see down below, I bought some 65 pounds. I have some 35 pounds. Um, they're super awesome. I love having free weights. I actually need to buy more. So the plan is to buy like a bigger rack that I can just like stack them on. And, but it's, it's a space issue. Like it's, it's not a lot of space in here. So that, that's the biggest challenge in here. And then if we look over here, I have some more like old school metal plates in here that I use. I either put them on the trap bar, throw them on the, the bench press, or you know when I'm doing squats whenever I need extra weight or even for the leg extension and stuff like that. So, so these are the weighter adjustable uh, weights. They're pretty easy to adjust. Basically. So they go from 10 to 50 pounds super easily. Uh, the stand, I couldn't find the original stand for this thing, but I found like a universal one and it seems to be working out pretty well. It's getting tired of picking them up from the floor. These for a long time, so there's a lot of different brands out there. There's probably nicer ones than this, but these were like my first like set of I'm trying to find a way that I can like get the most value without buying a full set of, of dumbbells, but slowly I'm having to buy more and more dumbbells. It's just the way it is. And I don't know if you know, weights are super, super expensive right now. It's insane. Um, the next thing I have, when we, very, when we first bought our house, this is one of the things that we bought and it, we didn't have it hanged up for a long time, but we finally hung it up and it's been here. Uh, it's cool if you just want to come out and get some quick cardio, get some bag work in. It's, a, it's pretty heavy and uh, it doesn't really, it doesn't move much. So it's pretty awesome. It, it does a good job. So, and I got a killer deal on this. So I can't complain about it. And then we also have, I know it's a disaster over here, but we have a little ethos bench here. And right now uh, this never gets put away because we either working out over here or I'm over here, one of the two places, or if we're like multiple people in here, we can do multiple things, which is awesome. And it's not a lot of space, so it's about making the space that we have valuable, right? So that's kind of the cool thing that we have in here. So some of the other things that, um, well, we'll talk about what I plan on doing here in a minute, but let's go look at one more thing, the most recent addition. So this is like something I've wanted for, I don't know how long, I mean years, I've, I've wanted this thing. And I finally put the, the decision and I was like, babe, we need this, especially with how I'm training. Like I train a lot. I usually train about six days a week and it's not once a day because I end up going to the gym, every Jiu Jitsu gym, every single, like five to six, seven times a week. Then I'm lifting about six times a week and I really didn't have anything to focus on my recovery. So that's what this is. This is, this is our recovery machine. This thing is pretty awesome. Um, I'll turn it on so you guys can see inside. Take a look. It's pretty, pretty amazing, and it smells so good. But uh, it goes up to about 151 degrees. It also she has a cool feature where you can just kind of change the colors. So while you're in here, you can chill, relax. It's got Bluetooth. You can have your music playing. 
You do whatever you want. It's pretty awesome. I, I freaking love this thing. I wish you could smell it right now. So this is an infrared sauna. Uh, I, I was debating on getting one outside or getting an internal one or going with a traditional one. And it just worked out because after you work out, you can come in here. Turn, you can have this turned on while you're working out so that by the time you're done, it's already up to temperature and jump in here and, and get a nice sweat and help um, with all the benefits. I don't think I need to tell you about the benefits. Maybe I'll do a review. If any of this stuff that I have, you guys have questions about, um, maybe you guys are really interested in a review and you know, feel free to let me know and I'll do a full review. I think I am going to do a full review on this because when I was trying to find a sauna, it was so, so incredibly challenging to find a good video with a review for any saunas out there. So I'll probably do a review on this. Let's turn that bad boy off. Well, that's my garage. And I, and, you know, I think it's something I've always wanted and I finally started putting together. And you know, my, my biggest thing was never using it. I wanted to make sure I use it. And so I use this gym all the time. And for me, you know, I get up early in the morning, I come in here, I get a workout, I get in the sauna, take my shower, and then I can get to work. And I don't have to get in the car. Um, I don't have to listen to other people. I'm not waiting for, um, you know, a machine to open up. Like, it's, it's just so many benefits, obviously, than rather than going to the, uh, to the gym. I have a couple other things that are kind of put away that I can use for, like, um, what, hip thrusts and things of that nature that I didn't really show. And, uh, yeah, but for, the, in per for, for, for basically anything you want to do, you can do here in the gym, which is freaking awesome. And I don't know, it's been super beneficial for me. So I, I, if, if you can do it, I definitely recommend it. A home gym, I know a lot of people are like, oh, I like going to the gym, but I just don't like people, man. I hate going to the gym and dealing with people and waiting for a machine. And, you know, the fact that he can use this, my other kids can use it, my wife, my daughter, like they'll come in here. And, and the fact that I can have people over and we get really good workouts in here is pretty freaking fantastic. So hopefully... Um, you know, if there's anything you guys have questions about, feel free to ask. If anyone wants to know more about a particular machine, feel free to ask. And, uh, yeah, I, I really just wanted to make a video because I haven't made many videos recently. And um, I got a new camera. I got a new mic system. So I don't even, honestly, I don't even know how this mic sounds with the camera right now. We had made some minor adjustments. So hopefully the sound is good. If not, I'm sorry. And maybe you'll never see this and we'll have to record it again. But... Um, so far, it's been it's been cool, and um, it's just something that I wanted to do is share share off the gym. So yeah, was as we make more progress and we make more changes to the gym, maybe I'll do an update. But uh, for now, that's my home gym. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a good day.